Fafa Media. I was a minimum wage movie theater usher that made good and became a top earner in my network marketing company. Now, after 16 plus years in the profession, I'm finally teaching myself how to leverage the internet with online marketing and social media marketing to continue to grow and expand my business. My name is Ronnie Cruz, and this is Path Path of the Network Marketer. Marketer. All right, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in. Got a great show for you today. However, before we get into all of that, I want to let you know that I am going live every day for 45 days on my Facebook account. So come find me, facebook.com slash Ronnie Cruz 11, um, just to catch me on, on live 45. So there's this challenge that I got from the biz bros over at content is profit, uh, podcast, go check them out. If you have a chance, um, they did a live 45, going live every day for 45 days on Facebook. I, sometime last year, I think it was. Um, but many other people have done it, right? Lori Harder used to go live. If she's still, she might still, actually. I don't follow her on Facebook. I follow her on Instagram. But she, she said she used to go live on Facebook all the time. Rachel Hollis is another, is another one. Um, she's amazing. And, and she was going live every day on Facebook for years, right? For years. Um, so it's a, it's a little experiment that I'm doing on Facebook. Uh, I encourage you to come join me. Come follow me there if you're interested in checking that out. Um, and also join us on the Live 45, right? Uh, a bunch of us from the, the Path of the Network Marketer community on Facebook, our group page, um, are doing the Live 45 uh, together. So, so that way we can support each other. We can, um, we can share each other's lives on the, in the community page itself. Um, so that way we can help interact and, and, uh, and comment on it to boost, uh, to boost the post and, and, and to, you know, so the algorithm catches it. Um, so yeah, yeah, come check us out if you're interested. Uh, again, the the group page, our community is facebook.com slash groups slash path of the network marketer. And then my uh, own Facebook is facebook.com slash Ronnie Cruz 11. Uh, I'll leave the links to both of that in the, um, in the show notes of this episode. It's just, a, yeah, it's just, a, again, a, a, an experiment that I'm running to see if going live on Facebook every day is still a thing. And if it's still a, a viable way to grow your audience, especially on Facebook, right? Well, only on Facebook because Facebook Live is only on Facebook Live. Anyways, um, today, I, well, speaking of live, right? Like one of the things that's been in my mind, uh, well, also not just been in my mind, but a lot of people have asked me is, well, don't you get nervous? <laughs> You're like going live, you know, not only, not only are you speaking in front of a live audience, but you're on video, which a lot of people get nervous about seeing themselves. So there's, there's all this kind of head game that's going on um, about, uh, about going live. And, and that, that question has actually come up a lot through my career. Don't, don't you get nervous before you go on stage? Or, you know, when you're coaching somebody, don't you get nervous? It's that whole, you know, worrying about the outcome, you know, like, well, doesn't, doesn't it, you know, make you, make you anxious? Um, and the answer is, yeah, of course. Right? Why wouldn't it? <laughs> right? Why wouldn't it? You know, like I've I've spoke spoken I've spoken I think that's proper tense I've spoken in front of of audiences you know as as much as like four thousand I know that's not a lot I mean, relatively when you compare it to like Tony Robbins or Brendan Bruchard or you know Les Brown but it's still it's still you know it's a good sized audience for the average Joe. Um, I think the biggest audience that I spoke for was was around four thousand, um, and and what, well, here's the thing: whether it's four thousand or or you know forty, I, I still get nervous, you know, speaking in front of audiences. Of course, naturally, like that, that's that's a normal human reaction, right? Uh, that 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 anxious energy, right? and that's and that's all part of it. However, I've I've learned to really lean into that because. It, the 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 energy itself anxiousness is isn't good or bad either way it's just it's just an energetic state and, and that's what I want to tell you about because going into the new year and and with me encouraging you to do new things whether it's Facebook lives or you know recording video for for your social media or any online platform really like I encourage you to start doing video because video is incredibly incredibly useful um, and the algorithms love video right um, so, I, you know, I encourage everybody to get used to doing video um, and that comes with a lot of reticence, right? Or a lot of nervousness. And again, that's normal. That's, that's absolutely 100% normal reaction. Um, the thing is, again, it only becomes negative because of, because of the state of mind, right? It, the, the anxiousness is a state of energy and, it, and how it gets translated once that energy goes through our brain depends on the story that we're telling ourselves. And it becomes worry when we're focused on 
negative outcomes, potential negative outcomes, because those outcomes don't actually exist outside of our own minds, right? So, so you really have to be careful when you have anxious energy um, uh, to not to get out of your own head, because your your brain. We talked about this before many times uh, on this podcast. Your brain wants to tell you to stay in your comfort zone, right? It wants to tell you to to not take risks, and, and so it's gonna it's gonna give you all the reasons why why this thing is gonna go wrong. This thing that you're about to do is gonna fail, um, and 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 it's gonna it's gonna go bad. It's gonna go south, and it's gonna just create this negative anxiety and worry, right? And and so that anxious energy, that anxious energy, that energetic state will get translated into negative negative outcomes um it can go totally the other way you just got to check your head right you got to check what's in your mind because the same thing is 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 is, is, is can be said about like having nervous butterflies. Like butterflies generally are good, right? When when you're about to go um, meet with uh, you know on a, on your first date, say say with you know re, you know remember back to your significant other and it was your first date. You had that anxious a- anxious energetic state um, that that translated into butterflies, right? Um, and so that that's that's a you know that's a good outcome of of that anxious energetic state. What you can do is, what I encourage you to do, especially in this context of of going live on Facebook or creating videos and publishing content on the internet, um, if it's if especially if it's creating you know a lot of anxiety, if the anxious energy is is translating into anxiety, really just get out of your mind, stop thinking about it, and and move. Like that is one of the best ways to. Um, disperse the energy that's that that's building up in you that anxious energy um, uh, so that so that you can release it and, and it doesn't it doesn't get translated into into negative thought right what I used to do when well I haven't I haven't spoken on a platform on a big platform in a while um, you know since before pandemic um, however what I used to do before then, and actually now that I'm thinking about it, I used I used to do this back in college and even high school. Um, uh, you know, when I was a when I was a performer, I did a lot of stage performance. I did a lot of acting, and I used to I used to shadow box right. I used to pace and shadow box in, in behind uh, behind backstage, um, and it was just it was just so you know just to release and 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 channel and well channel and release that anxious uh, energetic state. Right. And, and so that way I wasn't just standing there focused on on, you know, everything that I was worried about in my head. I was actually transferring that energy um, and, and, and using my body uh, to uh, to release that energy. It's one of the best ways to release um, ang- anxious energy. It really is. It really is. So that way, you know, I get on stage. Yeah, I'm still nervous, of course, but it, it's not like, a you know, I, I'm about to die nervousness. It's, it's an excited nervousness. Right. It's 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 a it's an energy level that's that's elevated because I've been moving around backstage. I had, in fact, I remember one specific instance. I was backstage. Uh, I was about to go on for uh, it was a uh, at my company's conference. I can't remember what year it was. It must have been, you know, six seven years ago. But I, I was backstage, and and one of my good friends had just uh, you know got done speaking, and he was backstage, you know, just uh, taking a breather, having a, gl- a, a bottle of water. I was back there. I was back there pacing, right, shadow boxing. Um, you know, uh, you know, I was like, you know, just that nervous, that that anxious energy, right? Um, and and you know, he came up to me. My friend came up to me, and he's like, "You're gonna be amazing." You know, he gave me a high five. We hugged, and he's like, "Man, your hands are freezing. They're cold and clammy." And like, yeah, I mean, this just happens. I like, no matter how long I've been doing this, no matter how many times I've I've been on stage, no matter how how large those audiences have been, I still get nervous. I go, I get nervous uh, when I when I go live on Facebook, and I'm in the safety and comfort of my own home. I just know how to transfer that energy, right? Like I've gotten, I've I've gotten used to doing it, it with my own method. Um, so yeah, yeah, like really get out of your own head because you, your own head is your your pitfall. That's going to be a trap if you don't if you're not aware of of your your mental patterns and your thought patterns, then they can really trap you. They can really trap you into paralysis. And and again, that anxious energetic state can translate negatively or positively, and and you'll end up going negatively because it'll become like like a you know, a fight or flight reaction as opposed to a let's dive in because it's an exciting reaction, right? Right. Both are nervous, nervous energy states, but one is one is negative and one is positive. Um, so that's the message for me for, for, for today. Right. Yes, you're going to be nervous. You're going to be doing new things. It's the new year. It's January. Um, you know, you're going to be diving into um, into a lot of stuff this year, especially if you're trying to, you know, um, do New Year's resolutions, if there's some changes that you want to make in your life. Um, and, and when it comes to marketing and, and Internet, 
you, you, you have to, you have to do new things. You have to put yourself in front of the camera. Um, you have to, um, you have to step into kind of a, a new pair of shoes. Um, and you're going to be nervous doing it. Understand that's normal. I still get nervous. Just channel that energy in, in a positive way. Get out of your head, move around if you need to, and then, and then hit record and you're going to be great or hit live and, and you're going to be great. So, <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I always cough towards the end. I was going to say that's that's the end of the episode. And then I had a cough. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. More from me tomorrow. Remember, come catch me on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash Ronnie Cruz 11. I'll put the link in the show notes and then uh, let's go live for 45. Um, that's it. All right. So <laughs> let me get off here before this goes any further south than it already has. Um, we'll catch you tomorrow with a fresh new episode. Until then, be well, be safe. We'll see you in the next episode.